guys, so I am back again with another video. Um, I know I never done my Halloween stuff, but what odds? So this is pretty exciting for me because I received my band box today. Um, I haven't ordered a band box before. The only other thing that I had come was a uh, expansion pack. So I got that before I received this item. The theme for October was watching. So let's see what is in store. I almost cut my finger. Uh, for any of you guys who do follow me, I am busier than a dog with two dicks. So I'm going to rush through this as fast as I can. Uh, like the other videos, I'm going to open it away from myself. And everything fell on the floor. Well, two things. Bear with me here. So again, I haven't had a band box before, so I'm just going to base it off of the videos. I know that this is a spoiler booklet, not only because of the title, but because in other videos they have said that inside it tells what each item is and all that stuff. So the very first item in the watching theme band box is my pin. Uh, I don't know who it is. We have Chucky. I actually really love Chucky. Okay, so it's been a very hectic week. I've been working on paintings and stuff. Um, if this was supposed to help any damages, you didn't have it put in their very good band box. Just saying, unless you do that all the time, then I'm sorry. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna save the really cool item that I'm looking at right now for like after. My jaw just cracked. We have a little demonic box puzzle cube and right off the bat I know that this is definitely a pinhead item from Hellraiser obviously. <laughs> and please excuse the fact that I did not do my makeup, I did not do my hair because I do not care what you think I look like. <clears throat> so here we have and a Rubik's cube shouldn't twist it. I'm not very good at a Rubik's Cubes. And it is the box. The box. That's pretty awesome. Uh, feels pretty cheap though, like the material is really hard plastic and a couple of stickers are like raised a little bit. There's a little bit of gunk right here. But yeah, once I do have a house and a basement and a life, I will put that out on display because that's pretty cool. Somebody will be off in the distance like, whoa man, she got a demon box, she's gonna summon all these things. I'm like, chill, it's not legit, it's just display. Okay, so next we have a S-Mart. <laughs> hey, S-Mart ID badge. <laughs> Uh, for those of you who do not know, this is actually an item, like, from Evil Dead. Um, Ash, actually. And it says, Hello, my name is Ash Housewares. So, this is a pretty cool item. It has, like, the pin on the back. Plastic is pretty good. It's pretty thick. Jeez, it's like a, a toonie. It's wide as a toonie. Uh, Esmer. That's pretty cool, and it says it's a band box exclusive for collectors 14 plus. Thank God I am 23 with an attitude of a 15 year old when I get things. So if I was any younger, I would not be able to get it. Do you hear this plastic rattling? This is an item, it looks like cheap plastic, but something I wasn't expecting. I was expecting like a print, so. It is a ghost face mask. Compose. Yes. I am a huge, huge lover of the screen movies. So this is actually awesome. And it is signed by Skeet Ulrich. Is that how you say his last name? The guy who played Ghostface and Billy from Scream. Now, the plastic is pretty you feel like cheapish. Uh, disappointed at that, yes, but it's still a signed item. Hell or her. I don't even have signed items. Wait, wait, shit. Backtrack. I never had signed items until like the past couple months. Now I have Ari Lehman 
for Jason. And now I have oh, and I have a uh, dog Bradley, which is another favorite, and PJ Souls. So I'm starting to gain, like you know, I'm starting to go up the pedestal. So yes, here is a ghost face mask. Am I satisfied? Of course I am. This is probably going to be my favorite item. This is a pretty cool item and I love it. Not the fact that it's like cheapish looking, but it is on and I can still frame it. So it's a win-win. And next we have a comic book. So I'm going to actually open this comic book because let's see if it has something on there. So, I'm not sure why they're in a watching box. Like, do they watch people? Are they like pervs? They're watching me all the time. Um, looks like it's signed by somebody. <laughs> Maybe the artist or the writer. And it's available wherever books are sold. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. It's Let's see what we have here. It doesn't have like a, a card state. Oh, here we go. A certificate of authenticity. Is that how you say it? Authenticity? Authenticity? <laughs> um, signed by John Lucas. The copy of Kiss Number One Bandbox Exclusive Color Edition as one of the specially limited series as copies signed. Awesome. So that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't think I was going to get a Kiss. Like signed by Kiss in like for October. Not really. Not real signatures. Damn it. It has like Jean and Paul here. Too bad they never signed it. It would have been awesome. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Thanks, Bandbox. Uh, I'll add that to my collection of. <laughs> <laughs> of comic books that I have which is very slim but I do love comic books and the artwork on this is awesome I'm assuming Amy Chu on that maybe first issue so yeah thank you and we have another item in here which feels like it is a print and ooh, yeah excuse the double chins of excitement there uh, we have a signed print Leatherface and Michael Myers. It is a glossy print and it will fit in one of the frames that I did pick up for this occasion. Uh, it looks like there is a card in the back. Or I guess proof of who signed it, which is the artist. That is awesome. This is like... My gosh. This artwork is phenomenal. Phenomenal? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this artwork is beautiful. Uh, in the chainsaw, there's actually um, that girl. There's a girl. And in his knife, there's a face as well. So, 975 out of 2,500. And I have it. That's awesome. I can't wait to put it in the print. So, going through this quickly, I'm going to go through my spoiler booklet and see what all this is about. So, on the very first page, we have a Enter the win. Enter to win. Winner announced November the 8th. It's the 7th, so I have to do that. Take a picture of your favorite item, which is going to be this. Or my print. I don't know. And yeah, just tag or hashtag the band box. Post a picture with your favorite item. Now, come on. You're making booklets and you're sending it out and you're going to make a spelling mistake with you. You! Where is the R with your? Why? Because I'm perfect, right? I never make mistakes. Then you have a one-up key. I don't know what the fuck this is all about. I never got anything in there that says anything about one-up, so I'm just going to skip right through. Uh, Bandbox exclusive horror pins. Oh, we could have got Jigsaw. Or Billy, I mean, sorry. From Saw. Uh, Sam from Trick or Treat. That one's pretty cool. And Chucky. And it says most people will either get Chucky or Sam, but some will get a one-up and receive 
the color version of Billy along with the red and black variant, which is numbered out of 250. Oh, I would have loved that. Well, fuck it, I got Chucky. Then it says Bambox exclusive is the Demonic Box Puzzle Cube, which I have ready to open the door to another dimension. Now you can, but be careful once you hear the bell towing. You know who is coming. And do you really want to invite them in? I don't even have to second, like, yeah, duh. I'll invite them in, why not? Fuck it. Might give some enthusiastic. I'm so tired. It might make my life better. Then we have an Esmer employee ID badge, which I just showed you from Ash. And yeah, pick up your own boomstick and get to work. I wish I could. Next month's theme is adult cartoons. We look like we have Bob's Burgers, uh, Simpsons, Beavis and Butthead, and all those fancy, fancy guys there. So that's pretty cool. Maybe I might order that one. I don't know. You will receive a signed photo from either Linda Blair, <gasps> Possessed Frank, So like, what if my what if I didn't get Ghostface because it says I signed print, but I didn't get that, so I'm assuming that they replaced it with this, obviously. So let's just say that that one planned it well, and I did have that signed one. No, wait, wait. No, um, let's backtrack. Let's say that the whole Ghostface thing didn't work. What would have they replaced the Exorcist item with? Like a bottle of like spew, like bleh, someone like get Linda to sick, make her sick, make her throw up in a glass, and then <laughs> no. Okay, so I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get a print because I did buy frames, but I'm happy that I have a mask, even though it's like cheap plastic. It's still fucking signed. Something I never had. Okay, moving on. We have Bambox exclusive Kiss Volume Number One, signed by cover artist John Lucas. Okay, so that's who signed it. Obviously, it says in the thing. Returns to blah, blah, blah. Plus, there are 25 special copies that are additionally signed by Kiss and Band members Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. What? Why couldn't I get that? Watch it for the extremely limited release of the black and white variant cover. That would have been awesome. Then we have uh, Jason and Freddy print. That one looks pretty cool. And Michael Myers and Leatherface, which are glossy prints by artist John Branham. Uh, you can check him out at johnbranhamart.com. He is Florida-based artist and a designer who specializes in digital art, design, photo retouching, and 3D art animation. So yeah, he used his art. The original idea was to capture four icons of the horror genre in his unique way, emphasizing emphasizing the decay, terror of the victims, and their sheer badassery. So as you can see behind me, for new viewers. These four are my favorite people ever. I really, really want all their autographs. I do have um, Aerie Leanings now that came in on my license plate. So, yeah, I painted this, and it's usually hung up everywhere, but I just threw it in the background because I'm not in the original room. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if I'm talking too fast, I don't even care. Um, a rating out of 10. I'm going to rate my band box maybe an 8, only because I'm not a fan of this plasticky stuff, and same thing with uh, this, but I do do love it. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll give it a 9. Maybe I'll just deduct one point because of this. Um, yeah. So anyway, if you like what you see, you can subscribe. If you don't, I couldn't care less really. Actually, I do care because I kind of just want to like get out there. I don't really do anything with my life, so you know. But until next time, uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the other side. Na 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 na, cut a hole in your ass. Blood in the wall, play tennis with your ball. If the phone rings, don't answer the call. Don't stress your throat. Fuck you like a goat. Peel your peel skin off and mix it with the coat. Cause everyone you meet is gonna be a bitch
to be done. Ha, 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 ha.